Have you ever been bullied? Uh, you re- you really need you went to high school with me. You <laughs> really need to ask. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're here to help a couple kids who don't know how to pronounce their R's. They don't? No. Oh, there's a lot of W's there. My water handle. <laughs> you brothers. You brothers. By the way, these children are fucking terrifying. Okay, what's so terrifying about Wait them? till the end of the end of the level. Oh. I was going to say end of the episode. It might be the end of the episode, depending on how fast you do it. Uh. Well, it's like the orb challenges really aren't that hard in this level. Well, that's good. You know what else is tr- really hard to do? Juggle. You freaking words out of my mouth. I didn't actually think you were gonna say juggle. So. <laughs> wow. Juggling is—it's actually quite difficult. Or play, and or play a fiddle. Playing a fiddle is very difficult. Ooh. Why does he have a gun? Because violence, yo. It's the word. It's the. It's the word. Oh, that's a door. That is a door that does not open to anywhere. So what do I have to do here? Uh, oh, I need to collect some flags. Oh. This map is one giant game of capture the flag. It absolutely is. Did you play a lot of that when you were younger? I did, actually. Yeah? How'd you play it? Um, We would... Depending on the day, we would either play between, like, two, two sections of a front yard or... Uh-huh. Um, so, how did you play it? Explain I, how I feel like th- this is going to lead into a story. <laughs> how did you play Capture the Flag? Well, we'd have two objects that were a flag. Like, generally, it'd be, like, a red and a blue handkerchief um, tied to sticks. Okay. Um, some days, we played that they were in a certain position. Okay. Uh, other times... Yeah. Monkeys have escaped from the Avalar Zoo, and I've been sent here to catch them. What? Coconuts have. Monkeys have escaped from the Avalar Zoo. Oh. Side quest. Um. So. Okay. So it's either they'd have them out in the open, or we'd have to hide it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's the way I played it. Was hiding the flag, and then giving the one other person I was playing with uh, one vague hint. And uh, you missed it. There you go. Um, there was a vague hint that they were allowed? Yeah. I'd be like, I would just say, it's under something. Oh. Like something like that, you know? Vague hints. And uh, one time, uh, said person hit flag. And uh, I had to do it blindfolded. So it was in an obvious spot. But I was blindfolded. And um, I found it. It had poop all over it. (laughs) Ew. (laughs) Yep. He literally took his finger, put it in his ass, and put poop all over it. That's gross. My childhood was colorful. (laughs) Colorful to say the least. Yeah. All right. So generally, when we'd play the where the, we had to hide it, um, we'd be playing throughout the entire neighborhood, and it would be you had. It wasn't you got a hint. It had to be within a certain part. Mm. So it's like if we were playing from my parents' house to like Griffin Park. Yeah. One section, one base of operation would be like my parents' house, and the other base would be Griffin Park. And it it was, you couldn't hide beyond a certain point. Mm. So, this way, it wasn't totally unfair. Yeah. For, uh... It wasn't totally unfair for, like, a team to, like, hide it in the neutral zone. Gotcha. And for some reason, when you said capture the flag, 
I thought of Manhunt. No, that's my other story. <laughs> I played a lot of Manhunt back in the day. Yep, and I and, and we talked about on how I played it incorrectly. No, I don't think we have. Well, I will briefly. I know I have said this story before. Um, when I was younger, um, Manhunt to me was you, um, you know, you try to get to your base before you know anybody t tags you, right? Yeah. Yep, that's not how we played it. Um, so if we found you, we beat the shit out of you with sticks. <laughs> yeah, we definitely have never <laughs> talked about this before. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I might have done it with a previous traveler, but uh, uh, yeah, yeah. You, it's you, that's you, some you, extreme you, manhunt right there, Brandon. You, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? It's the only way I knew how to play it. That's how I was taught. Who? What psychopath taught you how to play manhunt that way? Eh. <laughs> eh. Probably my brother. There. He was like seven years older than I am, so. He's like, what you do, Brandon? He said, we find you, we'll beat you. <laughs> so don't get And they out. did! All the time! And I thought it was fun! Getting beat! Well, I mean... I guess. So... That's my, my, that's my manhunt thing. Any other stories? What? Any other stories what? Similar to you getting beat with sticks. Yeah, but that was just child abuse, so oh, okay. we're not going to talk about that. That's fair. <laughs> Although, <laughs> I think I've said this story before about my weird, creepy neighbor when I was growing up. Um, he, uh, I mean, creepy candy. neighbor rings gave, a bell. Gave us, like, candy and stuff. And oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, there was this... I'm trying to remember his name, but I guess it's not that important. Um, I was like maybe four or three or something like that. Um, Ow. And, you know, we'd go and get our candy from our creepy ass neighbor. And uh, we're, we're like, oh, we're going to take a different route today. We're going to take this route uh, across the brook and stuff, right? And this is, this is probably one of my first interactions with a bully. And uh, I'm just crossing the brook. And then he just, you know, I'm like literally on the brook, like on stepping stones. Mm -hmm. And he goes, hey, Brandon, oh, my God, look, a bear. And I look, you know, I'm just a kid, you know. I look, and he shoved me into the brook, and my head hit like a shit ton of rocks. Ow. And, yeah, the, like the lollipop I had in my mouth or whatever, like, I went flying. I'm like, this was my first instinct I mean, this is my first encounter with a bully. So, if you've ever been bullied in your life, um, fuck, fuck them. <laughs> That's a way to look at it. Have you ever been bullied? Uh, you re you really need, you went to high school with me. You really <laughs> need to ask. Ben. You're like the most popular kid in the school. How was your bull- no, <laughs> I, I was about to say, I really, I really want to know what memory spawned that listen, one. Listen, listen, Ben. Like, weren't you, like, captain of the football team? <laughs> I, can't, I can't. You can't even say it with a straight face, I can, can you? I can't. I can't. Uh oh. We all know Ben was a fucking nerd. I mean, how I beat him up for lunch money every day. You also did not beat me <laughs> up for lunch money. Good try. What? What's going? What's going? What's going on? What's going on with him? I can't go in the sand. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot in Topeka. <laughs> um. Yeah. So, uh, you have any, uh, interesting stories about being bullied? No. Just sad stories, right? I'm just Look, bullying is not a good thing. It's not. Like, it, it, and also, it, let's be real here, bullying has gotten significantly worse than when we were kids. Yeah, they have the internet. Right? Yep. So. So, um, kids um, out there watching. Fuck them. Don't be a bully, I guess. Yeah, yeah. For the bullies, don't be that. Don't be yourself. Like, Whoa. seriously, it like 
psychological damage uh, can lead to other problems. You don't know what's going on in that person's life. Uh, this is a PSA. Uh, we're playing Spyro. <laughs> Seems about accurate. About accurate. So don't be a bully. Play Spyro. Correct. That's, that's a good one. That's a good one. Don't be a bully and play Spyro. Yep. That's, that's all you need to know. That's it. That's it. That's all. It. And fuck Red Velvet Cake. I'm sorry. I'm not letting that one go. It's chocolate. <laughs> but it's not. It's chocolate. You know what? I'm not even going to argue about the Red Velvet Cake thing. <laughs> what about that little thing below? On your left. Left? That snake? No. Oh, it's a snake. Oh. I it, thought it was it, a... it is a snake. I... Ooh. Well, I mean, we still have one orb to get still. So, like, I'm going to be going a lot back through this level. Oh, man. But, and luckily, it does not it involve trying to do this monkey challenge because this monkey challenge is ridiculous. Yeah, that monkey challenge is horrible. That could also be adorable. It, it actually didn't, didn't matter. Anyways. You know... There is something I, I would like to cover. Really oh, God. All right, go ahead. In the, like, four minutes we have left. Yeah. I have replayed this game. When it came, like, first day it came out, I loved the Spyro trilogy so much that I rebought the Reignited trilogy. Yeah. <clears throat> and I played through it. And I'll admit, I'm a lot older now and a lot better at video games. Uh, this can be debated if you watch our Bioshock show. <laughs> <laughs> but... I remember this game being a lot harder than it actually has been. Like, the biggest challenges I have had, minus losing 10 lives to trying to perform one jump, see Spyro 1 of us playing, is just trying to find gems and that, that sea turtle thing that I clearly was not prepared to do. Also, dealing with my ass. Nah. It's not as difficult as you think. Oh. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, like, I, I willingly come over and do this, so. This is true. Like, if you, if you had to force me to do it then, it, then you could say that. But I willingly come over here, hang out, and play video games, so. Hell yeah. Next time, we're playing Boggle. No, we're not. Why not? And my statement still stands from, uh. <laughs> Wait, is it below the bridge? Nope. <laughs> Quick way to find out. Yeah. Where the hell is these gems? There's one more, and it's probably somewhere I missed over here. Yeah, probably. What was the other thing? Oh, I, oh the boggle thing? Uh, yeah, statement still stands from when we did 20 questions. There it is. Oh, I, I do not like boggle. Yeah. I will play it, and I, I believe I am quite good at it. I'm, uh, uh,. Depending on who I'm going against, uh, I am pretty good. Yeah, didn't you say the last person you faced off against was uh, kind of a trap? Uh, it was Jesse. Yeah. Yeah. She's going to win every time. If I'm not playing against Jesse, I have a good chance of winning. <laughs> oh. Get him! Get him! Uh, what is that? He's Bob the Flag Keeper. Oh. Jesus. And with that... He's got ripples in his face. I mean, dude, some people are sensitive about the wrinkles, man. You gotta... I said ripples. Yeah. Those are different. They're, like, only on his forehead and cheeks. Well, next time, we face off against Bob the Flag Keeper. Yes, and we're gonna do bombing games, whatever that means. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. All right, cool. Peace!